So if you're planning to apply to come to Canada, whether as a visitor or as a student, you know, or you're thinking about which portal should I use? Should I use the GCK old portal or the IROCC new portal? And you're kind of thinking about what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of each of these portals. So in this video, I'll talk about the similarities, the differences, and then you can decide the one that you want to use. Number one, let's talk about the sign in in terms of creating account. You know, for the old portal, you have to, you know, they're going to ask you some set of questions and some, um, you know, questionnaire and some security questions. And then you can choose a username. And with that username, you can choose a password and then log in. With the new portal, you first, it's almost the same thing. The only difference is that with this, you first have to register and they will send a reference code to your email. It is that reference code you're going to use to do your sign and for this new portal you're going to mostly be using your email address and a password to sign in so i would say in terms of these there is no advantage or disadvantage of one over the other right they're very similar the number two thing is going to be the document upload this is a lot of there's a lot of difference in this area in the old portal which is a gc key you are able to upload about four megabytes of uh, of files right so if you have a lot of files you need to upload then you definitely want to go with it because with the new portal you can only upload two megabytes of files so if you are someone that has about you know 100 pages to upload in their client information and you you know when you start to compress and compress and compress then some of those um files are not going to be eligible for example the proof of funds and other things is just not going to be eligible so with this i'll say if you have a lot of files to upload then uh, the old portal is actually going to win this so the third thing i want to talk about today is going to be the forms this is where i think the major difference is with the old portal which if you want to feel like that application for study permit form or the application for visitors visa what you're going to do is you have to download that form in the old portal and you know sometimes when you download that form you can't even open it like right away just download and click on open you have to go to your download folder and open it from there right so and then you have to fill that and then uh, after filling you have to validate right so validate actually just helps you to see if there is any error it points that out and then you get to fix that if you also want to do the application for temporary resident form the trv the 5257b form you have to download that that's how you have your travel history and other things you download that form and then you fill it but in the new portal this is just i think is the best part of it you see all those questions all those things to download in the form and you start to you know fill and then upload they're just going to ask you the question in form of a questionnaire form in the new ircc portal you know what's your name your passport number the school you're attending how much do you have what are your work experiences and all of those things are just going to be filled even the family information that you have to download and upload and then fill and sign, you know, and then re-upload in the old portal. In the new portal, you don't have to do that. You just have to ask you, you know, um, the name, the address, you know, the date of birth, the present occupation of, you know, your father, your mother, your, your spouse, your children and everything. So you don't have to download. So if you want to fill directly in fact if you want to fill with your phone the new portal is actually going to be more user friendly to use because with the old portal you are you can't even there, there are some a lot of computers that can't even open that pdf so if that is the situation you are you are not able to open that for maybe because of you have a tablet that don't have that, that adobe reader to open i would say try to use the new portal because you can actually fill all of those information directly in your in the form and then let's talk about um uh, the digital photo you know in the new portal you have to upload digital photo right so digital photo is more like your canada's uh, passport size photograph photograph it can be a wide background but in the new portal you know the first time i used it i was actually surprised that they did not request for digital photograph to be uploaded okay so that's about it now the next thing is going to be the processing time well 
it is very difficult to say which of them is faster okay um because when you go to ircc to check the processing time they're going to tell you you know four months or three months or seven weeks they're not going to tell you old portal is seven weeks and the new portal is three weeks right so it is there is really not a lot of difference although in time past i i heard of someone saying they applied for a visiting and then in the old portal and it was taking like forever almost like uh, six months to eight months they did not hear from them and then i think they cancelled that and then they applied in the new portal and within a month plus they got feedback for the visitors visa so especially these days uh, a lot of people using the old portal people are getting a response uh, for their study permit application within 30 days or maybe like um you know five weeks or six weeks i haven't seen anyone that is more than two months in recent times so even with the old the the new portal is almost still the same that you know 30 days and you know five weeks as the case may be so processing time i would think they are pretty much the same another difference between these two is that with the old portal after filling up all the application you cannot download the application summary but with this new portal after filling everything and submitting you can actually download the whole application summary and then you'll be able to view it again i mean even since you've already submitted so if you've made a mistake you know you might not be able to correct it because the application is submitted but at least you can download the application summary and then view everything see all the questionnaires that you answer so i think that is a very good reference point maybe for future applications right instead of going to because with the ircc once you've uploaded the documents the old portal you cannot really see the doc you cannot even download them although in the new portal once you've uploaded the documents you can see the list of documents you still cannot download them okay so i think this application summary is a little bit different between uh the two portals let's talk about some of the similarities between the old and the new portal so as for emphasis the new portal is the ircc portal and the old portal is the gc key okay in terms of the fees so there is no one that is actually cheaper so whether you're using the old or the new the solid payment application fee is the same 235 dollars you know as at the time this video is filmed so i don't know if they're going to change it in the future but it's been i think since i started doing application in 2007 2016 or 17 it hasn't changed so i don't know if it's going to change in the future but for now the fees is 235 dollars for your visa fee and the biometric fees in both of the portal and uh in terms of the things that you have to upload in the new portal you also have to upload your admission letter you have to upload your international passport in both of the portals you have to upload the document for the proof of funds in both portals and if you've done medicals as well you have to upload that in both of the portals and then um for the additional information in the new portal they call it additional information in the new in the old portal they call it client information so they are basically the same thing okay so in the additional document this is so you have to add things like your letter of explanation you know your police report and maybe reference letters educational credentials every other document you feel you've not uploaded this is a point to upload it okay i forgot to mention that in terms of the one that give response to when you have to do the biometrics they are pretty much the same okay so usually when you submit your application whether the older new portal within you know less than 24 hours you're going to get you know um a, a biometrics instruction letter to go do your biometrics and then um the last part i've already talked about is going to be the summary page so it's a little bit different with um how you see the summary page in the new portal and the old portal but overall i think they are the same so if you try to decide which of them you should use think about you know all of the points that i've mentioned just to summarize if you have a lot of documents to upload and you know that those documents if you reduce the file size that is if you compress too much it's going to really decrease the quality then the old portal is going to be better because you have about four mega 
a megabyte of data or sorry megabyte size to upload your your documents and then if you have um let's say a, a tablet that is not able to open that pdf you know especially that study permit application form then the old the new portal is going to be more beneficial because you can fill all of those information directly so apart from that there is really no major difference and if you don't have password photograph i mean if you're planning to come to canada you should have the but if by any chance you don't have passport photograph and then you can use the old portal because you will not be the, the new portal i mean because you'll not be required to upload any passport photograph so that's going to be it so i'm not going to be deciding for you you look at all the things that i've mentioned and then uh, see which applies to you and then uh, decide on the one that you're going to use if you are concerned about processing time which of them is going to be faster i think as of now for storage permit they are pretty much they are you know similar they are almost the same thing so so you decide and then i wish you all the best so thank you once again for watching this video if you haven't subscribed do it to hit that subscribe button so that whenever new videos are released you'll be the first person to note uh, to get notified and also hit that like button it's going to help youtube algorithm to recommend this video to other people once again thank you i'll see you in the next video